We're getting hotter. 2,000 kilometers down. 2,300 kilometers. We're getting closer. Closer to the heart of our planet. 3,000 kilometers down. This is it. The force that carves up continents, powers volcanoes and earthquakes. The pivot around which the Earth spins. The center of the labyrinth. It's time to enter the core. We've arrived. This is the Earth's core. It's molten iron and nickel. So hot, it glows yellow. And it's bigger than the moon. Everything that exists on Earth exists because of this. The heat that creates earthquakes and volcanoes, that keeps the continents moving and our planet active, comes from inside this. It looks like it's snowing up. As pressure drops between the core and the mantle, impurities rain out of the core's liquid metal, like bubbles escaping from an open soda bottle. The cooling crystallized minerals settle as dunes on the underside of the mantle. We've only just reached its outer edge. But already the core is more complex, more beautiful. and more dangerous than we'd ever imagined. Towering tornadoes of liquid metal. There are dozens of them. Each one is thousands of kilometers high tens of kilometers wide. The currents are spiraling up towards the core's outer edge and sinking back towards the center at a speed of about 10 kilometers a year. Slow by our standards, supersonic in geological terms. Speed up time by a factor of 50,000 and things get scary. It's 4,000 degrees down here. Such heat creates these columns of hot metal. Then the Earth's rotation twists the columns into giant tornadoes. To 
Together, the spiraling columns turn the core into a giant electromagnet. It's so colossal, the force field it generates extends far beyond the core, through the mantle, the crust, out into space. To create a magnetic shield around our planet. Protecting the Earth from the deadly solar wind. Without these electromagnetic tornadoes, the Earth's surface would be a lifeless desert. Nothing at all would exist.